we're at uh, Del Posto with David Lynch. Some people consider David America's expert on Italian wine. I, I know I certainly do. Except and, I couldn't blind this Barolo. <laughs> but uh, so, David, uh, what is uh, what was your first wine epiphany? When did you realize you had a passion for wine? That's a really interesting question. I don't know. I don't think I had a wine epiphany. I think I had the epiphany that well, I'll tell you what it was. And it was not an epiphany in terms of the quality of the wine. It was an epiphany in terms of the experience. I was a young guy just out of college. I worked in this little newspaper just outside of Boston. I got invited to a wine dinner hosted by Markham in California. And was it Tom a, there? The winemaker Tom? Well, there was Brian Del Bondio. I'll still remember the guy's name because I worked for a trade newspaper that was like a nothing newspaper. But I remember going to the dinner. And it was Markham Wines, and you know, I'm sure they were fine. It wasn't like, you know, 78 Romani Sampivan or anything. But I remember the experience, and I said, I want to do this. That was the experience. It wasn't a specific wine. I don't have the Epiphany wine. It's funny because in the Wine Snobs Dictionary, we have a listing for Epiphany wine, but I don't have one. And uh, tell me this. You bought wine for uh, uh, New York's greatest restaurant, Babo. But anyway, uh, and you're getting ready to open a new restaurant, yes. John Dory. Yes. But uh, let me ask you this: What wines are you trying to buy for your own personal uh, tasting? My own personal stuff is actually very, and I'm learning a lot through the restaurant right now. My own personal, I buy very old school Barolo. I buy. I bought some. So I, I went, as I said earlier, I went outside of my tax bracket to buy a six-pack of 99 Reserve Soldera, which is truly one of the great wines of Italy, as we just witnessed, because we all thought it was Burgundy. And that's what Sangiovese is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be Italy's answer to Burgundy. It rarely is, but it sometimes is, and that's when it's great. That's Soldera. So for my own collection, I have Soldera. I have, for Italy, let's, let's talk Italy first. Yeah. For Italy, I have Soldera. I have some Cavalotto. I'm a huge Cavalotto fan. Those wines age great, beautiful, like firm acidity. I have some Giacomo Caterno, of course. Uh, in my more recent life, my epiphany wine, which is very hard to find if not non-existent, is Giacomo Caterno, but it's not Monfortino. It's Cascina Francia 1990. I drank it with Joe and Mario in the bar I've had bar that wine, and it's unbelievable. We had it at the bar at Babo. I was early in the game there. I was probably two years in, maybe, and one night those guys were there. This was back in the day when those guys were there a lot. And, <laughs> and Mario came off the stereo long enough, and they said, Lynchy, let's sit down and have some dinner. So we sat down at table 30, which is right near the Major D stand and the door to the basement, for those of you Babo people. And we had dinner there. We had a ribeye for three instead of for two. And it was a it was an epiphany wine. The wine was totally money. I went down and got it. I opened it. I served it to the three of us. And it was Cascina Francia ninety. It was not Monfortino ninety. It was killer. That's an epiphany wine. There. So I answered your first question. Yeah, that's question right. Now, are later. there any wines left in the world that you want to taste that you haven't tasted yet? Yes. I'm right now tasting my way through the Loire, and I am fascinated by the Loire. Me too. Loire Chenin. It's, All those great Chenin Blancs. Man, it is an incredible experience. I'm Sheep's doing the wool. wine list for the John Dory right now. And I've been, I mean, yes, of course, there's tons of great burgundies that I haven't tasted yet that I want to taste. And that is, of course, the final frontier for any wine geek. But let me tell you, right right on a close second to that is Loire. And uh, what advice would you give young collectors, people who are just now thinking, I'm interested in wine, I want to put wine down, I want to start a collection? I would say, uh, well, you know, what's undervalued now? The only problem I would say to, under, to, to, to young collectors is it's not easy to find undervalued wine right now, uh, which is, in the old days, you could do that with Barolo. You can't do that anymore because it's reached its level. Can I have one more, though? I have to have another nudie. I have to have one more. Sorry. Okay. What I would say to young collectors is, at the end of the day, the blue chips are still the blue chips. Bordeaux is still Bordeaux. Burgundy is still Burgundy. And not a lot has changed. I mean, the new frontier is maybe 
there's a certain there's a certain group of Barolos that I would say to collect, like uh, Giacomo Caterno, I would say Cavalotto is one where there's undervalued, but the fact of the matter is the blue chips are the blue chips for a reason. So I say that because I'm trying to search around for things that are collect like the only other thing that I can think of is that buy some German reasoning. Which is every wine geek says that you probably already have 30 tapes of wine geeks saying that. But Jeremy Riesling ages, and it delivers, and it and the price is right. And I would say Loire Valley Shannon too. Yeah, you know I have to add to what you're saying about Alsace. You know Alsace, there's some bargains still in Alsace. Alsace, I, I would agree with you there. I would agree yeah. with you. I I am just. What is the next flight? Can I clear anything? No. Can you clear anything? Yes. I would say you can clear these two for me. Okay, since David out. is doing that, you can take that. You can have... Uh, let me just taste this. Thank you, Dave. Okay, I'll cut this. Thank you, David Lynch Thank you. from the new Tom restaurant Black. in New York. John Dory. You're the man, buddy. Come drink some, <laughs> come drink some Shannon with me in the I fall. will.